Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about some of the things that we are hearing from conservative circles, particularly those who are more emotional than others, um, related to Trump's I indictment. And it it's kind of revealing if you look at the the different types of emotion that are being expressed. And it leads to the idea of maybe looking at policy is better than looking at personality. What are some of the things you've heard? He didn't do anything wrong. Trump didn't do anything wrong. He was allowed to do it. He didn't do anything wrong. All of those boxes were totally supposed to be there, right? Yeah, that one. You have, well, that's it. Now it's time for war, okay? But Hillary's emails and, well, that's it. It's the end of the republic. Those are the most common kind of themes you're hearing. He didn't do anything wrong. Denial, all the Civil War stuff, anger, but Hillary's emails or but Biden's son or whatever, bargaining. It's the end of the republic. Depression, eventually there's acceptance. It's the stages of grief. This is... Uh, Something that, I mean, while it's entertaining on some level, it isn't because there are people who are actually experiencing these emotions. Now, many of the people who are feeding into it, they're not. They're just doing it for ratings or whatever. But there are people who were that vested in Trump as a personality, as a savior. Only he can fix this. They got invested in the person rather than the policy. They got invested in following an image of somebody who was just unstoppable and infallible, knew everything, very stable genius. Now they're being confronted with the metaphorical death of that image. And it, it really is painful for them. It's probably, it is probably experiencing actual grief. If you want to guard yourself against this in the future, just remember that every politician, even the ones that you know, the, the majority of people who are watching this channel like. They're people. They're flawed. They're not saviors. They're politicians who found their way to power and fame. If the American people focused more on policy and less on personality or party, this country would be a whole lot better off. There would be a whole lot less polarization. There would be less anger. The country would move forward rather than falling behind. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. We're seeing it play out. They don't go in order, you know, they go back and forth, but we're seeing it play out for a significant portion of Americans who became so invested in a myth, an image of a person that even the slightest objective look at would tell you that it is just image. All politicians, everybody, people, they make mistakes, they do bad things, they, they're, they're people. Don't elevate them. Focus on policy. 
how they're actually going to help you. You are entrusting this person with your consent to be your better, to govern you. Maybe you should base that on a little bit more than, well, I like that he makes liberals mad. Or he says what I want to hear. Look at the policy. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.